Hi guys. So the very first book that I decided to review or discuss is How I Became a Hindu by famous and f- for some people infamous historian Sitaram Goel. This book is from 1982. Uh it had a republication in 1983 and the last chapter of this book was added by Sitaram Goel in 1993. This came out from his own publication. It's it's a small book, 103 bucks it costs in Indian currency and it's from his own publication house called Voice of India. So, I have underlined some uh portions that I really want to discuss in specifically uh discuss specifically, but uh, to give a central theme of the book, I would like to read out the first page or so. Uh essentially the central theme of the book is uh, how a person in his uh 20s and his in his college days is a is a very aggressive and hardcore communist. The although he starts out with Arya Samaj uh ideologies and then Gandhism then becomes a communist and then uh after after reading truckloads of books he shifts more to indic and indian thinking and then officially he mane he as he starts identifying as an indian and as a hindu so let's see where the book starts i was born a hindu but i had ceased to be one by the time i came out of college at the age of 22 i had become a marxist and a militant atheist i had come to believe that hindu scriptures should be burnt in a bonfire if india was to be saved it was 15 years later that i could see this culmination as the explosion of an inflated ego during those years of self poisoning i was sincerely convinced that i was enraged that i was engaged in a philosophical exploration of cosmic proportions how my ego got an inflated to a point where i could see nothing beyond my own morbid mental constructions mental constructions is no exceptional story it happens to many of us mortals what is relevant in my story is the seeking and the suffering and the struggle to break out of that spider's web of my own weaving i will fill in the filaments as i proceed my earliest memory of an awakening to interests other than those with which a young boy is normally occupied goes back to when i was 8 years old my family was living in calcutta my father was a total failure as a broker in the jute goods market but he was a great storyteller he could hardly be called an educated person having spent only 2 to 3 years in a village school but he had imbibed a lot of traditional lore by attending kathas and kirtanas in his younger days his knowledge of hindu mythology legendary heroes and the lives of saints was prolific one fine morning one fine evening he started telling me the lengthy and complex story of the mahabharata the narrative lasted for more than a month each installment lasting over an hour or so i absorbed every event and episode with rapt attention and bated breath the sheer strength of some of the characters as they strode across the story lifted me up above the humdrum of everyday life and made me dwell in the company of immortals